good evening everybody welcome to the channel so i have got here from vivor an impact this is a 110 volt large impact for breaking up concrete or rock or whatever you can even use it in dirt hard packed dirt but i can see a time where this is going to come in handy there's been times where i wish i would have had one and they wanted to send this over to me to review i'm not getting paid anything they sent to me no charge to review so i thought i would and check it out see how good it is it just plugs into a wall socket it's a big extension cord we should be able to break up some rocks with this thing i don't actually have a concrete slab but i do have some rocks outside on the hillside that we can try breaking up see how it works on that so let's take this thing out of the box see what it is what it's all about uh i'll tell you if it's good or if it's bad or what i think of it but let's open this thing up already actually cut the tape on it i have not taken it out of the package yet but just slide this thing out it's actually pretty heavy so it weighs like 50 pounds so it's not lightweight but it does have wheels on it and a handle so you can roll it which is pretty nice for something this heavy to have there's actually something in here too since this is something heavy maybe some of the bits so yeah, it has wheels and a handle so you can actually roll it around. So it does have nice buckles, a nice case to carry it in. There's the user manual. Comes with a pair of gloves, that's cool. Some cheap gloves, but hey, you might need them. That looks like a bottle probably for some oil that goes in it maybe. Comes with some protection goggles. Looks like some extremely cheap protection goggles. They actually kind of come apart here but let's see what else we got here looks like we have a mask now this is a mask you can wear so if you're breaking up some stuff you probably want to wear a mask it's not a covid mask it may work for it's a kn95 protection mask whatever that means so this is a big orange dude looks pretty heavy duty here's the cord it does have a 110 plug cord on it let me scoot the camera up so you can see this better so here it is. Looks like they got some foam here to protect it. Probably while being shipped. Take the tape on this. Take that off. More foam at this end. So they definitely got a pack good in here. This thing is massive and it is heavy. This must be a bit different kind of chisels that we have to go on it because it's pretty much what it does it uses like big heavy steel chisels and that's what you can break the concrete or rock with wow that's a big nice heavy chunk of steel what that is so that is actually like a big flat chisel. Heavy too, weighs quite a bit. This is obviously another one in the tube here. Now so there's a nice little smaller flat chisel. Same kind of setup. Don't know which one would be the best depending on what application you're using it for, which one you might use. And then inside here is another one. I don't know how many it comes with. So there's one, two, three right there. And that's probably another one right there. Look at that one. So that's pretty cool. A nice square tip chisel. Very nice. And here we got some brushes. They got an extra set of brushes. So it has brushes in this motor. And obviously they give you an extra set in case you wear one out. And here we have some tools. This is probably a needle that goes on this bottle uh, to put the oil in it. Then we have a wrench here. Looks like a couple Allen wrenches, three Allen wrenches. Then we have this big hoss itself. Man, that dude's heavy too. Got some weight to it. Let's take this case out of the way. So, 
pull this to the side, set your tip in. So you push it in like that, pull this up and turn it the opposite direction. Now that thing's locked in and it's not gonna come out at all. Turn it back around like that, slide it out. So it does have this big handle here. It looks like it just pivots around because it is tight. So obviously it's made to where, depending on how you're holding it, this handle will just pivot. Over here is where we have our place where I'm sure where the brushes go. So if you need to ever replace the brushes, there'll be one on each side, one here, and one over here to replace the brushes. And here's going to be the motor. It does have a vent on this end, and that's where the oil goes right here. Okay, on this little sticker, it'd be too hard for you to read, but I can read it to you. It tells you the new machine can work 20 to 30 hours when you get it. It is enough to add 20, 30 milligrams of grease at a time, which can be used for 20 or 30 hours. Half the oil displayed in the oil hole window is the state of the machine filled with oil. So you want it halfway on this window when you get it sitting just right. Um, adding too much oil will cause the machine not to hammer. Please pour out the extra oil. So you don't want to overfill this thing. Okay, so let's open this box here and see what we got. Obviously there's some more bits in here of some kind. From the weight of it, how I can tell. So there's one more in here. Wow, that looks like a shovel. Yes, yeah, so this one's actually like a an actual shovel. Extremely heavy duty shovel, like I've never seen before, but very heavy shovel. So we got four different bits. So there we go. We actually got this big shovel. We got a big nice flat chisel. Then we have this square tapered chisel like this. Then we have more of a standard flat chisel. Super cool. So we have the four different bits and like it said 20 to 30 hours it will last on the oil that's in it before you need to add some oil which 20 to 30 hours i'll probably never use this thing that much that's a lot and if you're using commercial use or something you might use it but let's take this thing outside and see what it will do okay so turning this on pretty simple we got just a switch here then this center button in here there's a little silver button if you can see right here this is a lock so you can pull it in Hold that and it locks it on. If you want to use your handle more without having to squeeze this trigger the whole time, you might want to lock it into place and then you get a nice big hand grip right here. Click it one time, it turns it off. Over on this side here tells us some of the specs. Vivor Demolition Jackhammer. Model JH65A, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1500 watt, 1350 BPM. And it tells the manufacturer right here of it. But made in China, of course. But it is nice, like a big cast, uh, probably cast aluminum housing. And then, of course, the handle is steel with a rubber grip on it right here. And then, of course, this is a big plastic, uh, big grab handle on the back. Let's take this thing outside and try it out now. Okay, so we definitely got some weight here. This thing's pretty darn heavy uh, to be lugging around very much. Take the cord and unstrap it here. So it looks like we've got about a 10 foot cord, nine foot, because I'm that's six foot, so seven, eight, nine, probably about a nine foot cord. I got a big heavy extension cord here. You use this 1500 watt, you want to use a pretty heavy extension cord to do it with. Let's try this flat chisel first. So we're going to do like I said here, turn it the right direction and then lock it, like so. Spin it around, we get in the right direction here. So it's working, don't look like the bit's moving. Maybe you have to push up against the rock first. I've never used one, so obviously push up against the rock first before it starts hammering. We'll see, because this is actually some pretty hard rock. It may not even break this stuff, I don't know. Okay, it had to push down harder. So it definitely breaks it apart, ain't no doubt about that. Up here is a real 
big solid part of it. We'll see if we can break that. We may have to use a more of a chisel for that. Definitely bury it in there. I'm gonna take and put the chisel on there. I think it more of a chisel tip would break into this hard stuff a lot better. So let's try that. The shovel here would probably be more for like hard dirt or something like real hard dirt. Uh, you know, because it's more of a shovel, wouldn't be good for breaking up real hard rock. This one should do a good job of that. This one or the square pointed tip. that in. Oh yeah, unreal the difference. I mean it immediately started breaking it. That thing just eats into that rock and this is pretty hard stuff. I actually have a small Kubota backhoe and I tried to dig this. You can see this is what I've dug, but I just couldn't dig it with that little backhoe. It wouldn't uh, break the rock. If I would have had this first and done this, break it up, then I could take it right out with the backhoe. So you can just keep going, and it actually buried that tip in that rock. You could get it stuck if you went in too deep also, so you have to be careful there. Show you up a little bit closer on this. Good old hard Missouri rock here. So see this part up in here is pretty hard. It is cracked up, but it's still pretty hard stuff. Most time you're going to see people using one of these breaking concrete. It's not just for concrete. A lot of people have uh, rock ledges or a big rock somewhere when they're digging in the yard. They've come up with this big rock. You need to break it up and get it out of there. If it's too big, you can break it up into small pieces and move the rock out. But as we've shown here, this definitely will do it. You can see there what happens. You just go straight in too deep, and it's pretty wedged. Like that, I gotta pull that thing out of there. So you don't want to bury it in a solid rock too deep. you push the more it wants to hammer and it, and it really hammers hard okay one thing I've just learned about using a jackhammer, it's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, because you're lifting up all this weight and trying to jackhammer, if you're doing something straight down where you're not actually holding this weight out to the side, it'd probably be a lot less forgiving. But uh, a person could still go through here and take a lot of this rock ledge out pretty easy, take the backhoe and then just scoop it up and get rid of it. Uh, or you could even put it in a wheelbarrow Take some gloves, 
put it in a wheelbarrow, haul it off like that, but super cool. So I'm actually impressed with this thing. I like it. I think it does a, a great job. Uh, like I said, did I need one? Not necessarily, but uh, for the times when I do need one to break up something, this is going to be really handy. And uh, I can use it breaking up an old concrete foundation, whatever. It should just eat right through concrete. It's eating through this rock and not just the crack part. I put it on that solid part and it just chomped right through it like it ain't nothing. So very cool. Big thumbs up. I really like it. I'm impressed with it. As far how, as far as how long it lasts, I don't know. It would take a lot of working out here and, uh, you know, years down the road. If I keep using it, it does quit. I'll probably make a video showing that it does. But like I say, 20 to 30 hours on the oil that's in it before you have to add oil. That's going to be a lot of work to do that much uh, jackhammering. So jackhammer is a lot of work. But very cool, very handy to have when you need one. Super cool, and the cool part is you get all these different bits with it, different kinds of bits to go with it to do different kinds of jobs depending on what you need. So I, I think it's very cool. Big thumbs up from me. I'm going to post a link to this Vivor Demolition Jackhammer below in the description where you can check them out on Amazon. They're actually fairly inexpensive for something like this. So what you would pay to have somebody come and do some jackhammer at your house to get rid of a big rock or a concrete slab like an old foundation in your backyard would be a lot of money and this thing here would take a lot of uh, expense out of it just buy one of these and then you could sell it later if you're never going to use it again so thank you guys for watching click the thumbs up check out the links below subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you on the next one right on